The College of Arts and Sciences is really the heart of WSU. It is a place of collaboration and partnership. We have world-class researchers, scholars, and creative artists. We interact with almost every student that comes to WSU. It's a place where you can learn and grow and think big. Science is always changing. Uh, that's the nature of our business, is to explore everything that's related to um, the universe right down to the submolecular level. And the tools that we have to do that and the facilities that we require to do that are constantly under revision. Our kind of immediate plan is for a new integrated sciences building and this building is going to house student support services, classrooms, instructional chemistry labs, state-of-the-art research facility for faculty in chemistry and biology that are going to be focusing on really the next generation science in human and plant health. An instructor, no matter how gifted he or she may be, can't teach what they need to teach if they don't have facilities and the tools with which to teach it. Today, a laboratory may have a million dollars worth of equipment in it, and that's really not an exaggeration. And that equipment is not frivolous. It's just simply the cost of this equipment today. In addition to that, it has to be replaced, has to be maintained, obviously, and so we have to, we have to do it. We just simply don't have any choice. There's things we can spend money on today. If you come back in 10 years, maybe that is still going, maybe it's not. Investment in facilities, though, you come back in 10 years and you'll see all kinds of things that are happening and that facility becomes that focal point. It becomes that catalyst for continued change and growth. We're in an age where uh, science is changing rapidly and we need modern facilities to address modern problems. We're currently renovating uh, laboratory spaces in our biological sciences buildings to help prepare for the construction of our new integrated sciences building. Higher education is a social contract. It's a contract between people like myself, faculty in all branches and all levels, and the student. And what we're agreeing to, whether we state it implicitly or not, is you do your part and we'll do our part, and the sum total of that is a synergism that will produce a well-educated student who is prepared for whichever career, whichever paths they choose to follow. When we follow through on that social contract, it ripples throughout all of society. This investment in facilities, it shows that commitment to excellence, commitment to growth, that I think becomes contagious as we look to economically grow our state. Donors, support, and private and public partnerships have always been a part of higher ed, and they are critical to any project like this. We look forward to sharing with you and showing you the impact that a project like this can have, both on student experience, student education, and uh, world-class research.